please welcome to the stage, Diamond Lauren Bush. Good afternoon. I am so excited to be here with you guys today. So my name is Lauren. I am the very proud mother to nine amazing souls. So obviously, doTERRA did not invite me here to talk about safe, natural, effective forms of birth control. <laughs> Instead, they did ask me to speak on something I have a little more experience with, and that is the negative effects of the toxins in our environment. Now, before I get going, there's two things you need to know. I talk fast, but it's okay, because at the very end of the slideshow, I have a QR code for you. You'll be able to download my entire PowerPoint presentation with all of my notes, and if you give me a couple of days, I will have a shareable recording of the presentation. If you are unable to understand the cause of the problem, it is impossible to solve it. So it is often said that inflammation is the root cause of disease. So what's the cause of inflammation? So I want you guys to get really familiar with this term, internal environmentalism. And just like an environmentalist goes out into the environment and he helps us protect Mother Earth, it is your job to be the environmentalist of what's going on inside of your body. There's three factors that can have a major negative impact on your internal environment. They are nutritional deficiencies, negative emotions, and chemical exposure. So I want to start this off with nutritional deficiencies. And yes, I know there's an S missing. So hopefully some of you have heard of Dr. Pottinger and his experiment with cats. So he took two groups of cats. The first group of cats, he fed a very nutrient-dense diet, and he followed them for several generations. The second group, he fed a nut nutrient-deficient diet. The first group of cats, within the, with every generation, they stayed healthy. Great bone structure, great muscular structure, their fur was shiny, and they experienced end-of-life health struggles that most animals experience. However, that second group of cats, they started experiencing the same issues that the first group felt at the end of their life. These cats experienced it midlife. And with every single generation, those health, concern, health concerns showed up earlier and earlier until they got to the third generation and the mom cats died in labor and the kittens didn't survive, which means they didn't make it to the fourth generation. Now, before my fur mamas and papas out there are going, oh my goodness, this is animal torture, I want you to realize that a majority of us are sending our children out in the world with a much more nutrient deficient diet. We feed them Cheerios, school lunch, and they end it with McDonald's. So why would, why would a company so focused on providing us the very best essential oils in the world provide nutritional products? Because essential oils cannot replace nutrients. So I don't know about you, but I didn't come from a perfect family. Anybody else not come from a perfect family? Cool, I'm not alone, fabulous. There's a lot of drama and a lot of trauma in my family tree. What they have found in the last few years as they're deepening their research on epigenetics is that that drama and that trauma gets passed down to us. So for example, my grandfathers all served in the military. They experienced a lot of trauma and their bodies put a little marker on their DNA to pass down to their progeny to say, hey, if they were to experience this, we want them to be even more ready. So my body is primed for anxiety and depression because of what my grandfather experienced. So what does doTERRA do? doTERRA provides us emotional aromatherapy oils to deal with the emotional baggage that our grandparents and our great-grandparents experienced. They also provide us the amazing adaptive line so we don't pass that baggage on to our kids, our grandkids, and our great-grandchildren. So now let's go back to that third thing, the reason I'm on the stage today, and that is chemical exposure. So I want to share my story with you. I am going to cry because there's a lot of hormones in this body after nine children. 
At nine months old, my daughter Chloe was diagnosed with ARDS. Most people didn't know what that was until the last two years, but it's acute respiratory distress syndrome. It's kind of like asthma, except for every time she had an attack, she was hospitalized for one to two weeks. At the beginning of our journey with Chloe, I had a friend come and ask, hey, are you open to trying essential oils? And I said, do you know how sick my child is? Do you know how smart I am? I'm a medical ICU nurse. 90 plus percent of my patients are trached and ventilated. I work with respiratory therapists and pulmonologists on a daily basis. If your essential oils were gonna work, I would have already heard of them. No thanks. So because of my ego, my daughter suffered for three years. Three years of being touch and go. Three years of not knowing if she was gonna make it through the night. Three years of being poked and prodded until our doctor came to us and said, by the way, the next time you bring her to the emergency room, you will not be able to refuse. We are placing a trach tube. I also want you to know that we got her labs back and she is facing kidney failure within the year. And because of the amount of medication we have put her on because we don't know what causes her attacks, your daughter is going to have significant developmental delays. And so I ate my humble pie and I went back to that hippie friend and I said, about those oils. And while our very first experience with essential oils was so profound that I became a lifelong believer, it was the lifestyle changes that came along with this journey of doTERRA that had the biggest impact. You see, the minute I realized essential oils actually worked, I couldn't shut up about them. I shared them with everybody, including my amazing cousin, Jackie Imbrogno, who happened to come to me and say, hey, have you heard of this app? You can scan your products and see if they're safe. And I was like, they're sold in the store. They're obviously safe. And she was like, I, I think you should go scan your products. And I was like, ah, okay, fine. And so I did. I went home and I scanned my products. <laughs> and my heart broke because I realized what was causing my daughter's attacks. It was me. I was the cause of her pain and her suffering. And I found out that her respiratory distress was the minimum problem that we had to worry about. See, I had a really toxic routine. I happened to be super candle obsessed. So every morning I'd wake up and I'd go around and light candles because, you know, you need ambiance when you got five, seven, nine children. And then I'd go around and I would check all the plugins and I'd make sure the cartridges hadn't run out. And then I'd take my bottle of Febreze and any soft surface in the house got sprayed down, carpet powder got put down. I picked my laundry detergent and my fabric softener based on how strongly it smelled when it came out of the dryer not based on how clean my clothes were. In fact, neighbors four doors down were like, yep, laundry day at the bushes, we can smell it. But my favorite trick, what I thought was the ultimate mom hack, is on the day that I went around and I changed my kids' sheets, I would take a bottle of baby powder and I would cover their entire mattress and then I'd put their clean sheets on and I'd pat it because I love the way my kids smelled when they woke up in the morning. This was pre the lawsuit for Johnson & Johnson, just so you know. <sighs> there are over 80,000 chemicals approved by the FDA, and 7% have been tested for safety. So I want to go back to this slide, and I hope you notice there's a really cool bottle that got added to this slide that Boyd just covered. But I want you to focus a little bit more on that beautiful mama belly and the labels on it. We have talked about three key areas, nutritional deficiencies, negative emotions, and chemical exposure. What you are exposed to today is just the tip of the iceberg. You see any nutritional deficiency, any negative emotion, and any chemical exposure your grandparents had, you have been exposed to. Anything that your mother and your father, because it does travel on sperm, uh, also you have been exposed to. doTERRA has answered the call for all three sources of negative impacts on your internal environment. And if I had had the slide before, the new abode line would have been up on it. So I want you to, to take this acronym home with you. Most of us know an AED is a life-saving device. 
Well, now it's a life-saving acronym. A, A is for awareness. Anytime anybody comes to you and they bring a diagnosis, what I want you to do is go into the search bar of your choice. I want you to type in that disease process and chemical exposure. So for example, let's run through with asthma. Asthma and chemical exposures. Find the research, share the research. Asthma and nutritional deficiencies. Find the research and share the research. And then you're going to go to your emotions book, and you're going to look up asthma, and you're going to look at what the emotional root to that issue is. Because guys, I have a complete obsession with breathe. It was life-changing for my family. But you cannot choose one tool to address all of the health issues that we are fighting against today. So as promised, oh, for some reason, that QR code is not show. It will be up there because I saw it before I came on. Or maybe doTERRA is going to share it with you. Uh, the QR code will be available to you. But there are four documentaries on here that I hope you will go back and watch because I only had 10 minutes with you today. I want you to do a deep dive into how these are affecting your life because this is how we save lives. This is how we change statistics. This is how we make a massive impact on the lives of the people that we love and we care about. And I don't care whether you are turning in today as a wellness advocate, as a customer, or somebody who received this recording and you happen to make it to the end. It is now your responsibility to go out and to share this information because you care because we're human beings who want to make a difference, because we want things to be different for our kids and our grandkids. We want to make a change, and this is how we do it. Now, one more bonus. Does anybody know Laura Jacobs? Yeah. I thought so. So the amazing Laura Jacobs has agreed to join with me, and we're going to do a three-part series for you guys, deep diving into all the information that we just shared with you today. It is open to anyone and everyone in and outside of doTERRA, and I hope that you guys will join us again. It'll be inside the QR code that doTERRA shares out. Thank you guys so much.